What is going on everyone? Today we are taking a look into what we can expect from weapons in Ashes of Creation. Along with the progression systems attached to them, how legendary weapons are obtained and more. But before we get into this, well, you know what to do. In Ashes of Creation, there are many, many different types of weapons. Some you know, and some that may or may not be new to you. And you will be able to equip them all. Weapons like armor are not locked to specific classes, but may or may not be more effective in different situations depending on what you are playing. Because does a ranger with a staff really make much sense when the majority of the spells require a bow? No, probably not. Your character, as of now in this early stage of the game, will have two weapon slots for things like swords, shields, and axes, and then a ranged slot for bows, wands, and such. Each weapon will have its own progression path and its own type of skills, so as you level up that weapon you will be able to change the abilities and special effects it may perform. You will be able to spec into abilities on the weapon combat trees, and the more skill points that are allocated on the combat tree will greaten the player's weapon familiarity, which in turn can enable various proc effects on the weapons. Some of these procs may reduce or reset cooldowns of other abilities on your action bars. You can also further customize weapons by adding different gear augmentations and enchantments, for weapon types, you can expect to see one-handed axes and two-handed axes, bows, clubs, crossbows, daggers, lances, maces, orbs, polearms, scepters, shields, spears, spellbooks, staffs, and one-handed and two-handed swords. There are also hammers being considered along with potion launchers, which were like grenade launchers that made their way into Apocalypse, but it is unknown if we will see these in the final MMORPG. Dual wielding of these weapons will be permitted if they are one-handed weapons excluding shields, and we will not see gunpowder type weapons in Ashes of Creation such as muskets and pistols. The weapons you have equipped will show up on your character's appearance as you can expect. The back will show ranged weapons and shields, and the belt will show melee weapons, potions, pouches, and scrolls. There will also be legendary weapons and items in the game that can be obtained. These will not be RNG based and will entail the player obtaining various construction components from multiple progression pathways through crafting, gathering, and processing, along with requiring effort from PvP players and PvE players linking all these systems together to make weapons and armor that truly feel legendary. There will also be legendary equipment that drops from legendary world bosses in the game, which will unlock further chapters of lore in the game as well. These will be extremely difficult to get to the point where there might only be one of those items existing on a server at any given time and these weapons won't be temporary with the exception of royal flying mounts. What are your thoughts on weapons in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you are new to Ashes and want to make an account to jump in on the forums or maybe purchase yourself a snail horse mount thing, then feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.